Hey, Jeremy from the Mystic Reef again here. I just given you guys a tip on fragging a little bit more branching, whether it be a stony or a, or a softy coral. This particular coral is called a Hydnophora, and really, really pretty green one, by the way. Um, I bought it when I bought it. I actually had a choice in this one and a couple more solid pieces, but I figured I'd buy the one that I could get easily cut frags off of. So pretty much what you want to do is just put it in your specimen container. Uh, don't really try to stress yourself out too much with trying to make it super fast because the coral is fine out of the water. It's just like, you know, the tide going down or something like that. Uh, with the exception of sponges and things, you should leave those out of the Now what you want to do is you just get your coral clippers, whether it be a bandsaw, coral clippers, or whatever it may be. Go to the lowest point. Try to make it flat so when you, when you do remount them, you can mount that flat piece on whatever it may be, the rock or a frag plug. Don't drop it like that. Then, you know, scope out your coral. I'll we'll cut this one right here to try and make it flatter. Specimens in your water. It's stressed out. And you just turn a coral that you would have to sell for, you know, a hundred dollars into easily viable ones. And, you know, and you know, other than you know trying to make money and actually sell the coral, sometimes when you have a coral this big, the fragments at the bottom will not get as much light or flow, so they'll get browner hints to them. So sometimes when you do this on your corals, you're actually helping the main part and the top part of it. And, and uh, until next time, Jeremy at the Mystic Reef. Bye.